Oh, hi there, fellow Tetra Pak colleagues, and welcome to my kitchen. You know, if there's one thing I like, it's homemade chocolate cake. And when you think about making your favorite food, does powder spring into mind? I don't think so, but I bet you that your cupboards are full of it. For example, just for my humble cake, I will need a bit of sugar. I will need some baking powder. I will need some salt and some cacao powder. And of course, I will need some flour. <laughs> we have to be careful when handling powders, otherwise we can make a big mess. But handling powders is actually not that difficult. This is true at home and it's true in our factories. In fact, the difference between home and factory is not that big. Let me show you. Start by measuring out your ingredients and then you pour them in. You can do this either with a measuring cup or with one of our dosing machines. They do come in many different sizes, but the basic principle is the same. And when you got your ingredients together, you mix. You can do this with a whisk or with one of our mixing machines. They do exist for wet products, but today we're gonna focus on the powder. And then we're just gonna add Hey, come, have a look at this. Powders are at work in kitchen and factories all over the world. European bakeries use powder for bread. Powders are used for noodles in Asia, soft drinks in America, coffee in South America, and many, many other products. And of course, if we make a mess like that, we're gonna have to clean it up. Food hygiene is our priority. So now we have our cake batter and we're just gonna apply some heat. In the meantime, I'm gonna use this powdered sugar to make some frosting. Come back in a while, you're gonna be in for a treat. 